Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to hide and show any input box using template if directive. But before starting, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. I create content which will be very useful to you in your day to day life. So let's jump back to our video. So we have to understand how to use template if directive. First, let's understand how if condition normally works in Java or any other language. So this is how usually an if condition looks in Apex, Java or any other language. So according to this, what usually happens is there's a condition inside, inside the if. Now if this condition becomes true, automatically this code gets executed. But anyhow, if this condition becomes false or the value or the result of this condition becomes false, automatically this part of the code will execute. So in simple terms, if a condition is satisfied, this condition, this code or this block of the code will get executed or else this block of the code will get executed. This is same in case of the LWC. The only difference is the syntax difference. The syntax of LWC is something like template if true and there would be a variable. So this would be a, over here you will provide a JS variable which will be declared at the JS side. So if the value of this JS variable becomes true, if anyhow the value of this JS variable becomes true, automatically the code will get executed. Okay, the code here will get auto automatically get executed if the value of this JS variable becomes true. If it becomes false, this block of the code will, won't, will not be executed. Okay, so now our basic goal is that what we have to do is we have to create two buttons. One would be named as show and another would be named as hide. I'm denoting it as H. So as soon as user clicks on S that is show, yeah, so let's say if he clicks on S automatically an input box will appear at the top. Okay. And the button will still appear so that is show and hide. But now if user clicks on hide, so what will happen in that case, the button will go away and only will be able to see show and hide button. So in simple terms, what we are trying to do is we are trying to show and hide the input box at runtime using the buttons. So now let's jump back to our LWC component. We have a template. Now first, in order to show or hide the template input box, first we need an input box itself. So I'm going to use lightning input and we have a lightning input right now over here. And then we also need buttons, right? So lightning button so i have this one button this is for to show and another button i will use for hiding right so i will name it as show same name should be over here and over here i'm going to name it as hide right and this is the lightning input that i want to show so first of all i'm going to click on save and let's see whether the component has been deployed properly. So as you guys can see, there's a button show, hide, show and hide. Both of the button are available to me. So I'm going to create a variable as brand so that blue button appears to me. Blue button is visible to us. So if I click on save. I have two buttons show and hide and also I have an input box. Now what I want to do is first of all this input box should not be visible to me. So as soon as I click on show this input box should appear. If I click on hide this input box should disappear. To do that first of all our conditional our condition is on the input box. So the input box will usually come inside the template if so which we have already created over here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste my template if inside this So once that is done, I need a JS variable. So as I've already said that if, if I'm going to, if this variable becomes true, automatically this input box will appear. But if the input, if the JS variable become false, this block of the code won't execute as this condition is not satisfied. And hence this input box will automatically disappear. So I'm going to create first of all a variable inside JS. And also I'm going to use these functions. So as soon as uh, I click on this show, 
so I'm going to name it as handle show and handle hide so as soon as user clicks on the show button and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the value of this variables as equals to true so as soon as this variable it becomes equals to true this lightning input box will start appearing and in handle hide what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the value of this variable is equals to false as the value of this variable will become equals to false and this condition won't match this input box will disappear so I'm going to use these both functions over here and there's one more function handle hide so in handle show what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the value of this variable equals to true as soon as I'll make it true the input box will start appearing but if I make it false over here and handle hide click whenever the user will click on handle hide the value of this variable be will become false as the value of the variable will become false the condition won't be satisfied and the button will disappear okay there's no closing tag so now let's look into it So now as you guys can see there is no input box so as soon as i click on show input box will appear and if i click on hide the input box will disappear so as you can see it's working perfectly fine so this is how you can use template if directive to show something or hide something as far as you need so again i'll just recall i've used the template if if the value of this variable if it is true then this input box will appear if the value of this input box if this value of this variable become false this input box will disappear in this function what I'm trying to do is in handle show as soon as I click on handle show I'm making the value of this variable true so as soon as the value of this variable becomes true this template will be re-rendered and this input box will appear to us but if I click on handle hide the value of this JS variable over here I'm making it false and as I'm making it false what's happening is this input this condition is not getting satisfied the input box is disappearing so if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to this channel I'll be uploading more about four for loops and also I'm going to work on uh, we are also going to work on wire APIs and track and all this stuff. So if you found this video helpful, please, please do subscribe to subscribe to this channel.